movie fan in here. Of course, I'm joined by my lovely girlfriend, Maya. And, uh, yes, it's Tuesday. We got ourselves another Tuesday Top 3. So last week I asked the question, what were your favorite Top 3 horror films that have the word night in them? And, boy, did we get some freaking responses. Up uh, for... Feel better? Oh, my God. Uh, up better, or up better. <laughs> up first, we got In Ready, who said, number three, Night School. You have to see that. There's a lot of, like, those 80s slashers I just have not seen yet. You get not on there. Uh, number two, Nine the Demons. Good stuff. And number one, Nine the Creeps, with which uh, I have not had a chance to watch yet, but it is on my list of movies to review coming up, so... So, thank you, Enray. Appreciate it. Uh, Warren Cocking, he said, at number three, which was my number one, Night of the Living Dead. Fucking love it. Uh, number two, also my top three, Fright Night. Boom. And number one, he threw in Nightbreed. Even though technically it's one word, I'll let you slide. You're my little bro, so not a big deal. Uh, so, thank you, my man. Appreciate that. Which I do love Nightbreed. Don't get me wrong. Nightbreed's fucking awesome. Uh... Up next, we got Loki Jans. Johns. I think it's Johns. I've been saying Johns for a while. I'm almost say that. So, anyways, Loki Johns. At number three, Silent Night, Deadly Night. Uh, good stuff. Number two, Night of the Creeps. And number one, Prom Night. Which I know everybody loves Prom Night. I personally was not a fan. Me I do either. own it. I was a fan of it. But you liked it. Mm -hmm. uh. Did you see the remake? <laughs> Did it look new or old when you watched it? Not old. Okay, then you haven't seen the remake. Uh, I didn't mind the remake. I mean, it was retarded because it's a PG-13 slasher. But, uh, yeah, overall it wasn't bad. Uh, Sarah Pullen said, or thank you, Loki, appreciate it. Sarah Pullen, at number three, also said Silent Night, Deadly Night. At number two, Dark Night of the Scarecrow, which I do like. Real good movie. And number one, Night of the Demons. So, thank you, Sarah. Really appreciate it. Ghostface Kid hit me up. And number three, Fright Night. Number two, Dark Night of Scarecrow. And number one, Night of the Living Dead. Boom. Can't beat Night of the Living Dead. Uh, then, uh, 13 Wolfman hit me up, and uh, his number three was The Night Evelyn Came Out of the Grave. Uh, I need to rewatch that, and I'll tell you why I don't like it. But I feel like I was under false pretenses here when I, when I watched it. I bought a box set. Now, they gotta remember, I was fresh out of high school. Now, when I, you know, when I, when I, you know, at that age, the fan would buy these box sets, these ridiculously big boxes that have like a hundred movies of them or whatever. And I didn't realize that they were just all gonna be B movies or whatever case may be. You know, that's not that's not the issue. Um, so I, I bought these box sets and blah blah blah. Well, I came across one that was called uh, the Living Dead box set. And the front cover is just nothing but zombies. And they had uh, fucking Night Living Dead as one of the movies. And they had like nine movies in it. So I was under the impression that every movie on here was going to be a zombie movie. Like how is that, like how can I be wrong, right? I mean wouldn't you not agree that you, you got a box set called Living Dead box set? You would assume they were all zombies? Well, Night, the, or the Night Evelyn Crawled Out of the Grave was like the first movie on there. So I'm expecting a zombie movie. I'm just sitting there, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, and I'm like, son of a bitch, and it was, it was not a zombie movie. And I just hated it right off the bat. Now, as time went on, and I would kind of go past that, I was like, man, dude, I need to go back. Because there was a couple on there that did that to me. And I was like, I need to go back and rewatch some of these movies because, you know, knowing now what it is, give it a second chance. And, not, and then not that Evelyn crawled out of the grave. I'm not going to lie, I give it a very low rating, but just because... I thought it was going to be a zombie movie. I, I need to rewatch it again so I can kind of, uh, but, uh, yeah. But that's, that's my, it's my little mini run. How often do I get to bring up the night Evelyn crawled out of the grave anyway, so. Um, number two, just reviewed it this past weekend, Night of the Comet. And number one, Not Living Dead. <laughs> and, uh, finally, uh, Raider Nation Cali. If I'm, it was all one word, I just kind of broke it up as I could. Raider Nation Cali uh, said at number three, Not the Demon. Number two, Not the Living Dead. And here's one I was really surprised. I didn't think I was going to see it on here. Number one, The Night Flyer. So, boom, there we go. I want to thank every single person out there. That was awesome. That was a shitload of people right there. I highly appreciate it. That is really awesome. Thank you so much. So, this week, I was like, what are we going to do? We're going to take a little detour. 
if you don't mind. And we're going to uh, break away from horror for a second. Now, I'm not saying you can't have horror in your answer, but we're going to include all genres here for this week. So, this week's top three. I like how I always drag it out like you don't know what it is because it's always in the fucking title anyways. But, uh, <laughs> see, right now it's I'm recording, so there's no title right now. Uh, anyways, uh, top three uh, favorite movies that were based on TV shows. Movies that were based on TV shows. Not the other way around. Don't give me a TV show that was based on a movie. Fuck that. Movies that were based on TV shows. Sweetie, I see you got your uh, clipboard over here. Uh, mm -hmm. What is your uh, top three? Number three, Good Burger. Fucking Good Burger. I have not seen that in years. And she surprised me when she busted us out because... I don't know. What, I don't know. No, no offense, sweetie. I was expecting... Subpar answer. And, uh, no, she busted out Good Burger on me. I was like, son of a bitch, I haven't seen that in years. Fucking love me some Good Burger. Because I'm a dude. He's a dude. She's a dude. We're all dudes. Hey. Sorry. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> Number two, Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. Respectable answer. I enjoyed Scooby Doo. I liked it. I think that was my first movie that I saw in theaters, I think. Was it really? Yeah. Well, there you go. And what's that number one? Brady Bunch. I'm sorry. The Brady Bunch is awesome. Ugh. You don't like the Brady Bunch? Not, not. I didn't. I never seen it. I'll be honest. I love the show. Love the show. Uh, I saw the trailer for like all the fucking movies they did, and I just was not. Ah, uh, it did not appeal to me. I was like, eh. Got hair underneath my mask. It's ridiculous. Uh, so thank you, sweetie. Appreciate it. Uh, my top three. I'd have to say at number, and there's a lot, like I forgot, I didn't realize how many movies, not only that I own, but you know, that are out there, that are based on TV shows, like it really fucking boggled the mind. Um, if I had to narrow it down, I'll say at number three, Beavis and Butthead, Do America. Hilarious. Fucking hilarious. And it's one of those that still holds up, like I watch it now. And it's still as funny to me as it was back when I was in elementary school when I watched it. Just fucking hilarious. Uh, so, yeah, really good stuff there. Uh, number two, I'll say... I'm going to go with uh, South Park, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut. A movie that I fucking despised and hated when it came out. This because it was a musical. And then, like I said, I think I told the story before, but I bought the DVD you know, a while back ago for a buck at the uh, Half Price Bookstore. And... Fell in love with it. Like, literally we've seen it, like, 13 times since. Like, it's just fucking awesome. So, yeah, that's definitely number two. And number one, this is the... Yeah, this is the one that whenever I kind of came across it in my list, I was like, oh, shit, this has got to be up there. Uh, 21 Jump Street. Uh, and it was tough to pick between 21 and 22, and I didn't want to do, like, you know, sequels in the top three. Because uh, I think they're both just equally amazing. Like, I don't know, I think they're just both brilliant. Uh, so, but I'll, I'll, I'll go 21. I'll just go with the original one. Because uh, it was just funny as shit. And it was it, it, it didn't take it all too seriously. I think that's the problem with a lot of these movies, uh, especially the ones that are based on TV shows. Like I don't know, I didn't see Dukes of Hazards, but I just heard horrible things, and it took itself way too serious. Even though it was a comedy, it was like it, it wasn't. It didn't have like that little you know nudge and a wink to the camera. It was just like nope, this is the legit shit right here. Never seen it. Dark Shadows, another one. I thought this fell flat. Like I don't know, it just took itself way too fucking. Dark Shadows. And it should have. I don't know. But anyways, but yeah, so that's my, my three. Beast by Head, South Park, and 21 Jump Street. So I want to know, what are your top three favorite movies based on TV shows? Now, guys, at this point, we know how to do it. I'm going to actually quick run through the list because I feel like at this point, like no one really goes to Facebook or Twitter. Like, why would you? If you're watching this on YouTube, why would you be like, this is great, I'm watching it. Let me log out, go over to Twitter real quick, and I'm going to tweet my ass. So I'm going to start dropping those. But you guys can leave a comment right down below and video responses. We love all that stuff yeah. right there. So, If you got any questions for me. This ain't a, you got any questions for me format. That's like yeah. tomorrow we do the comments and yeah. you can get any questions for me. I'll probably won't be on your... your, your She's mean. She treats me. She treats me. All right. Well, sweetie, anything else to add other than you got any comments for me? No. All right. All right. Well... As my girlfriend Maya, I am the movie Phantom, and uh, 